Ostrowski. Um, so you've been on the budget committee, but the Board of Selectmen is every Monday night, all night for three years. What makes you want to jump uh, head first <laughs> into Anthony Hall? Well, I've, I've been, I was born and raised in town. Um, I've enjoyed being on the budget committee for the last two years. Um, it's really opened my eyes and a lot of stuff that goes on. And in my present job, I know how I have worked with a lot of different people, and I know how to compromise to get things that need to get done. Um, I presently, you know, uh, do a lot of maintenance programs. I understand what preventative maintenance means and what it does if you don't do that. And um, it just seems like we kind of wait till it breaks and then fixes it, and it costs us too much money. So I think uh, we need to do better with that. Thank you, Mr. Borowski. Question for everyone, and this could be a yes and a no. Um, what is your position on the petition warrant article, which calls for the town to stop picking up commercial trash? Mr. Borowski. No, I'm totally against it. Who, um, the, the newcomers, so n not Mr. Pearson, not Mr. Nichols. Um, antagonism, no civility, a lack of respect, those are the words that Ben Moore used to describe the tenor of the board of selectmen when he resigned from the board in June. Um, do, do you believe that that's accurate? Then Mr. Borowski. Yes, I believe some of the past boards have been a little contentious with things. Um, people don't uh, take into account other people's feelings and stuff. And um, I do that on a daily basis, compromise, and I know how to work. People take criticism, and uh, I think I can do a good job of that and work with everybody. Uh, for the newcomers first, um, do, you <laughs> do you agree with the priorities the board has displayed over the past year? If not, where would you have focused your energy? Yeah, I agree with, with a lot of stuff they've done, but more, I think more should be done with the DPWs, um, getting the roads and stuff taken care of better. Um, I think more, the infrastructure should be some more concentration on that. Thank you. Let's Brief see. answers, and I just, uh, the Massachusetts U.S. Senators and six of its 11 U.S. Representatives uh, recently sent a letter to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission recommending that basically the, the license um, for a Seabrook station not be renewed into um, they deal with their concrete degradation problem. Is this an issue that Hampton should get involved in? I believe we should keep an eye on it. That's what the NRC is there for. And uh, as far as getting involved with it, I don't think we should get involved. But we'll just keep an eye with it. Thank you. Good question. Uh, yeah. Now that the old courthouse and old town hall has been torn down, uh, what would you like to see that land used for? I'd like to see something up for a community center put there. Um, would you support a ballot initiative to allow bars in Hampton to push back last call from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m.? No, I have some friends that uh, own uh, bars and restaurants in town, and I've talked to them, and they're in agreement. They say 1 o'clock is fine. So I'm going to ask each of the candidates to, if they, if they would like, um, give us some closing remarks, a minute or two, uh, about why they're running, why they would like to be elected um, as, a, uh, as a selectman to the Board of Selectmen. I know most people don't recognize the last name, but uh, I was born and raised here in town. I've grown up in town. I have... Uh, uh, the family members that are in town. Um, when I first ran for the budget committee, I had people ask me why did I do it, and they kind of thought I was crazy or stupid for running for it. But I enjoy being on that board. I enjoy serving my town. I know how to compromise with things. With my background in the last 20 years, I've been in the electrical industry with uh, in charge of all preventative maintenance and installations of stuff. I understand how that works. And with that knowledge, I hope to bring that to the town. And I ask for your vote on uh, March 11th. Thank you.